Yeah, no, very good yeah. point. Very good point. So that ABAP is all there. That's an investment that the customer has already made. And in many cases, they've spent uh, thousands of hours customizing uh, their their system. And you do not want to have to reinvent that wheel. It works well. You just wrap a new UX around it. And that's what you do with Neptune. So right now, you should be seeing my TC8000 mirrored on my uh, remote view, right, Dean? Uh, yeah, I can see it. Can you guys see it? Uh... Sarah, can you see it? You're, you're our eyes and ears there. Yes, I can. Yes, I okay. can. All right, thank you. So you can see, so this is a, a bundle application that was put together by Channel Partner of ours that uh, handles all of warehouse management and also the equivalent inventory management counterparts for those that are not using WM. All right, so what we can do here is actually, I'll demo a, a goods receipt application and this application was designed with offline in mind from the ground up, which means you can actually synchronize uh, purchase orders to this device. And uh, this is uh, fairly quick. So you can actually, so this is uh, about one year's worth of purchase orders that are now synchronized to this device. So what I'll do, this is uh, designed to be a minimum interaction kind of an app. So you open up the app and then you scan a uh, purchase order number. And that's what I just did. This is in the beep that you heard. And what that does is automatically then pulls open the line items underneath that purchase order. And what I'll do now is I'll repeatedly scan a barcode for the line item to do a goods receipt for that. So pay attention, this is gonna go quick. So you can see that that native scanning, let me scan another different one so you can see what happens. So that native scanning integration is just it's just lightning fast. And that, of course, reduces uh, time, right? So we can say that using a application powered by Neptune on a Zebra device gives you back 25 to 50% in productivity uh, because it's just the increase in efficiency and how you interact with that transaction rather than with an ITS mobile, right? So it's not just about having a good looking screen up on there, it's about enabling the uh, warehouse workers to be able to do this quicker okay so now let me show you the same thing on a different device and uh, the reason i'm doing this is because i can actually show you the offline because this is hardwired to my computer right with the zebra remote view if i go on offline then you don't see my screen all right so now i'll do the same exact thing completely disconnected and you can see how the plugins work, the camera integration, right? So I can go and I can do the same thing. I can scan and I can scan a different barcode. And the application works the same exact way on a completely different device, a completely different OS. And uh, we're using it in offline mode. And how do we know that even in offline, it's doing fancy logic? You know, so I can actually go in here and I can manually uh, over receive something and force it and it'll actually yell at me and show me that it's actually validating this logic in offline mode so even though we're disconnected we have all the data cached in this device that shows us hey you no know, you're over receiving on this right so this is the key thing it doesn't care it's offline it just keeps on going okay so let me show you real quick how we make this magic happen uh, our development platform is, like I said, entirely drag and drop. So where typically, if you look at these applications, if I run this equivalent application in a browser, and we look at the backend code on this, you can see that it is not an insignificant amount of uh, code here. This is how this application would have been built if this had been done on SAP's platform, on SAP's Web IDE. Uh, in our case, it looks like this, it's drag and drop, and changing or making changes is uh, is simple in Neptune, right? If they don't like the color of a button, you know, then they simply click on the button and they make a change. You know, now it's highlighting the button. If I don't like it saying reject, I can change it over to something entirely different. All right, so let's go and look for this reject, and I can just change this reject to no. We'll activate this.
and now the button says no, right? If you had done this in coding, of course, now you're looking for the, the code and you're changing it, you're manually typing. Uh, binding this to the data is just as quick. You know, everything is directly connected to the ABAP. And I'll refrain from going into the ABAP and showing you code here because we don't have technical people. But the thing is that uh, building these applications literally is as easy as going to our app store, downloading an application, and then extending it and connecting it to the backend code. And you can debug and download an application in a matter of a couple of work days, where with SAP, now you're talking weeks. So it's easy to prove to the customer that this works. And uh, we have references. I think last week we were on the phone with two different customers in the US. Uh, and a hopefully a future customer of Zebra and uh, Neptune to combine. So uh, I think we're approaching the top of the hour, Dean, right? So you want to wrap it up? Yeah.